Today's Gospel, Tuesday, March 29, is from St. John, chapter 5, verse 1 to 16. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, at the Sheep Gate, a pool called, in Hebrew, Bethesda, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise. Take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well. He took his mat and walked. Now that was a day of Sabbath. So the Jew said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath and it it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away, since there was a large crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Brother Egay Paulate of the Pag-ibig sa Diyos Catholic Community. Do you want to be healed? When Jesus came upon a crippled man, lame for 38 years sitting beside the pool for healing, he asked if he wanted to be healed. That's in John chapter 5 verse 6. Jesus healed him and told him to sin no more. Just like the man, I too need healing from my broken state. I have experienced Jesus' healing countless times every time I confess my sins. But am I really determined to change my old ways? and sinful habits, and sin no more? Sometimes right after confession, I entertain thoughts, say words, and do deeds that absolutely offend God, thus blocking His mercy to flow through me. Jesus understands my weakness, that He equips me with His grace so I can keep my commitment to sin no more. This is only possible with His help. This Lent, I will make a thorough examination of conscience and ask the Holy Spirit to help me see even the smallest sin at its source. I must remember, there is no sinful habit, big or small, or past hurt that is beyond Jesus' healing touch. Let us pray. Dear Lord, please have mercy on me, a sinner. Forgive my sins and save me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.